Hey, what's up guys? So this is going to be a different video. Uh, a couple people asked me, uh, like, I'm free to play obviously on this account and on all accounts you're seeing on my channel, but on my main I'm light pay to play. And some people are asked me what kind of things, what do I buy in the mall? Um, what's the best way to go from free to play? to light pay to play to get the best out of your buck. So that's that's gonna be a video for people that uh, intend to like put a couple, to buy a couple packs. I wouldn't say to go over a hundred dollars, but, and I'm gonna use uh, USD, uh, US dollars, even though uh, what you're gonna see on the screen is Canadian dollars since I'm from Canada. So uh, I'm gonna go over some of the best uh, packs that you can purchase um, and still be competitive um, and, and get the best, the, the best buck. Bang for your buck. Uh, and the first one I wanna talk about is, it really depends on the role you wanna play. So there's, there's a couple things you have to figure out what you wanna do with your account. Uh, if you're gonna be light pay to play, there's a couple roles you can you can do. There's several roles you cannot do. So first of all, you <laughs> if you're if you're free to play or if you're light pay to play, you're never gonna be a rally lead. You're never gonna be holding forts and be competitive. So um, you're not gonna want to build a um, a champion set. You're not gonna want to go of, uh, the route of RK Tomes for wonder research you're not gonna be uh going for max pay to play heroes so for light pay to play and yeah so basically the research you don't want to do is the wonder battles you don't want to do that uh you you don't want to do advanced wonder battles so for your tomes you're, you're gonna want to go with familiar battles sigils gears and uh, most likely the counters which on this account, not on luck. Uh, and I know you guys keep telling me I need to do that, and I will eventually, but I'm, I'm not doing it. So for light pay to play, some those those are roles you're not gonna do. Uh, you can old forts in Dragon Arena if you're like the tenth or fifteenth uh, rally lead in your guild. But yeah, you're not. So if you're light pay to play, you're never gonna be competitive. So you don't want to go that route. Things that you can do, you can be a filler. It sucks. You can be a trap. That's pretty nice. Um, you can bait. Uh, you can, but for this you need good good equipment. You need troops. Uh, you need combat stats. So one thing that you can do with light pay to play is my suggestion is you're gonna go. You're gonna get some tomes to get some of those research. Like I said, the counters, familiar battle. You're gonna want to get at least battle slot four. Um, which I have not done anything towards that just yet. You may want to get T5, which on this account I have some good progress. And you may want to get some uh, leadership um, research and sigil uh, for filling. So that's so these are things. So you 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 want to get some tomes. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna suggest some packs that you can get some tomes. And the other thing you may wanna get is some good equipment. So as you can see, I'm basically purple and one piece is at Mythic. Uh, but if you're light pay to play, you're, you're gonna wanna get some gold and some, and some Mythic equipment. So you will need obviously rare material and there are some packs that can help you with this. Very cheap ones. I'd say the last one is uh, Monster Hunt. Uh, Monster Hunt is always good. Uh, it contributes to your guild. It contributes to your progress, your own progress. Uh, so as you can see, as free to play, it's very, very low. But there is, uh, there, it's it's always good. Uh, Monster Hunt is good for KVK. It's good for some of the L events. It's good for guild bash. So uh, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be part of my suggestion. So. Let's go and look at the mall. And obviously, right now there's a one plus one. So obviously, if you get well, if you get that that coupon, you get it. Unless you're stupid and you don't click on that little thing when it appears. Uh, but yeah, so it's a great time to purchase uh, a pack um, because you get double, uh, double the rewards. And 
as you can see, I'm still free to play on this account. So there are five, five packs, and it's a good thing today we are we have all those five packs in the mall. Uh, and I say lucky, but I know that some of them are they're there on a ba daily basis, and some of them it's a one-time deal. And one of them, so I want to talk about first. I want to talk about um, the everlasting treasures. So that's one that costs only that's five USD, five dollars, five American dollars. Uh, don't look at this. This is in Canadian. Uh, you get uh, these chests. Which basically guarantees you like 20, uh, so that's a thousand gems guaranteed, and it can go up to 10,000. Obviously, you're gonna get in between, I would say, three to four to 5,000 gems from these 20 chests. Uh, and then every day you get all of this. And it may seem like it's not a lot, but for five bucks, Basically, it takes about four months and you basically this becomes as good as another pack that I'm gonna, gonna suggest But after four months, then it becomes free and you get two on a daily basis. So basically you're gonna get 730 something per year if you log in daily and you claim which you should uh, So that's pretty good. That's 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 going to be slow and steady progress for your any research that you stones. Uh, as far as the rest, speed up is always good. Uh, and then the resources is it's really nothing, right? Uh, so that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, the other one I want to suggest to you guys. Uh, I think it's... Uh, yeah, like I said, all of them. Material Madness. Material Madness for five bucks you get... All these chests, it is basically seven on 750 chests, which includes the monstrous ship, monstrous chest, which is basically a guaranteed rare. It might be gray for 10, you might get a couple green and blues. It's mostly gonna be gray, but still it's guaranteed. Um, now, obviously the chest, they have different uh, drop rates. Uh, don't recall where we get this. There's a way to get that. Uh, and some of them are like, for instance, Queen Bee and Bon Appetit, I think at 3%, uh, while like uh, Mecha Trojan is around 10% for the rare. So you got different drop rates. This is a good one. Uh, the resources are just like bonus, as far as I can tell. Uh, it's really, uh, this is what you're looking for, the uh, monster chest. You get a couple gems, you get nothing. It's you're not. It's not about the gems. But for five bucks, this is very good. Um, so that's a good one to get. Now uh, moving on, moving on. And I'm gonna be talking about very cheap packs. We're not gonna talk about ten dollars, twenty dollars, and anything above that. Uh, the next one is massive discount. That's a great one. Uh, if you have five bucks to spend on a daily or weekly or monthly basis it's probably the one you want to you want to invest in uh 250 archaic tomes a uh, couple speed up you also get um 80 chests which includes 20 monstrous chests obviously the 20 monstrous chests are way better than these uh, and these are uh, some of the lowest uh, Lowest drop rates, the Titan, Bon Appetit, and Queen Bee. You get some resources, but obviously it's the chest. I mean, the research speed up, if you're closing in on max research, it's, it doesn't mean anything. But you're really looking at the archaic tomes on this one. And like I said, the everlasting treasure takes about four months to pay back. Just talking about the tomes, obviously, because... Uh, you don't get uh, any chests with the everlasting treasures, but basically that's how you should look at it uh, You take the everlasting treasure and it's the same price as this one But after four months, it's basically free tones um, So that's a great one to get The other ones the other ones I got two more to show you guys don't like these. I don't like these. Um, Monster Slayer. Monster Slayer 
is an upgraded uh, pack. I think they uh, I think they phased out the other one where you were getting 35 chests and 35 of each material. Um, like I said, monster hunting is a huge part of this game because that's how you get your speed up, your resources, your rare material, and your regular material. Um, it it's a way to contribute to your guild because every drop you get, that's basically everyone. Yeah, I mean that's that's a dumb point, but everyone, every kill you get, you got a hundred people opening uh, a chest. That's very good for your guild. So very important. Uh, obviously, um, the um, you get the stair chest, but you get the material. You really want to get the material from this uh, because uh, the Hunter's Flame and the Rusted Chains, well, mostly the Hunter's Flames is hard to get. So you basically get, uh, that's when you, let's say you start from scratch, uh, you basically get, uh, that's uh, how many, uh, that's three blues, three blues and a couple grays. That's very good uh, when you start, let's say you start your account. Um... So that's a great one to get, and it's also five bucks. So so far, I've shown uh, five dollars, five dollar pack. Uh, the last one is gonna be a cheap one, and that's I'm, that's always gonna be my suggestion: is focus on the cheap ones. The five dollars are somewhat cheap. You get better rates from the five dollars than going with the ten, twenty, and fifty dollars. If you don't have a big budget, go with the cheap packs, but the best, the ones, obviously the ones that I'm showing. Uh, don't don't go like Sneaky Tashi or Wordy Prince and, uh, and raid the mall. If you don't have a budget, like make sure you, uh, make sure you play uh, optimally uh, when you have a small budget. So the last one, where is it? It's a cheap one, like I said, and my screen is really slow. Uh, that's not that's not this guy. That's not a fine day. All right. Where is it? Where is it? It's this one. Super savings. It's one dollar. Now for one dollar, you get a hundred and sixty chests, monster chests. Yes, yeah, some of them like Steam Pat. Eh, it might not be that great. Ardrox is for true training, and Voodoo Shaman is for merging. Sure. Uh, I, especially if, if if I were to transition from free to play to pay to play, my merging is done. I mean, I'm only doing it for L events. Uh, my Ardrox is like purple. I'm close to gold. So and Steam Pat, yeah, I it's it's not a big deal. Like uh, T5 is yeah, uh, but you get all of these. Um, so, and on top of that, you get token, 10 luck tokens for $1 and 10 uh, chest of splendor, with get, which, I mean, there's a chance you're going to get the 100,000, but mostly you're going to get something cheap. But basically with 10, you're guaranteed to get 2,000 gems. So I, I will say that on average, you're probably going to get like 5,000 from this, from those 10. Plus this and plus this for $1. Um, so basically... Uh, if you were to compare that to Material Madness, uh, that's basically a, with this for the same price. That's 160 more chests, which some of them are not that great. I understand, but then you get uh, the extra luck tokens, the the extra gems. That's a great. That's a great. Oh, and look, I didn't see this. I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's like 1.2 million food. Uh, 400,000 uh, stone and timber ore, and 800,000 gold. Is it? Oh, more than that. 8 million gold. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's that's a great one. For $1, I believe that's one that you can buy every day. I'm not sure. Someone in the chat, not in the chat, but in the comments, maybe uh, you can confirm that. Since I don't buy, uh, I and on my main... I have not bought uh, anything in like six to nine months, I think. So it's been a while. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's a very cheap one. That's a very uh, optimal one to buy. If you want to go to, if you want to transition from free to play to 
light pay to play those are my suggestions everlasting massive discount material madness monster slayer and super savings um guys let me know what kind of packs you buy write it down in the comments below maybe i'm missing some i went on the wiki i looked at a bunch uh as it happens, they don't have all the information on the on the wiki for the packs, and some of them are like seasonal. So obviously, they're seasonal. Uh, we're talking about stuff that's available like um, every other day or something like that. So let me know what you guys are buying. If you're going for specific monsters, I mean, I know some people uh, would uh, would go for. Let's see, I think I saw Eldrider. Uh, I would, if you're light pay to play, don't go for uh, Eero Metals. If you're light pay to play, don't go for Eero Metals because uh, it's going to cost you a bunch of money uh, to get. So if you want to do that, you focus on one Eero at a time. And just remember, it's going to be like 100 bucks at least to get one to gold. And if it's not gold, it's worse than a free to play Eero. So... Uh, that's my suggestion for you guys but yeah if you want to go with this like five bucks is she worth it I mean yeah it's ranged uh, it's 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 full combat hero um, but yeah 15 medals you need uh, so that means you need 22 times yeah so that's hundred ten dollars if my math is correct at five bucks not at seven dollars I think my uh, credit card is being charged at the moment. That's why it's slow. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. Okay, so yeah, I, I knew that there was Eldrider. So if you want to get one of these, remember, it's five bucks. You get 60 chests. Uh, you get guaranteed drops. That's, uh, for five bucks, you're way better. With, I mean, you, you get 60 chests from Material Madness. You get 60 Eldrider chests from Material Madness. So yeah, don't. Ugh. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, go with Material Madness. Don't, don't. <laughs> sure, you got the 10 grays that's guaranteed, but come on. <laughs> You're better off getting everything else. All right, guys. That's about it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what kind of stuff you're buying. Uh, let me know if my suggestions are good. Maybe I'm missing some. And that's about it. All right. Thanks for watching and see you later.